one crimson CC like this. I'm the best. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna show you how to create a killer crimson color correction on a light motion. Whether you're a newbie or just looking to up your editing game, I've got you covered. So let's jump right in and get started. So first of all, add a rectangle shape. And go to the effects section, then others, and add copy background. And again, go to the effects section, then blur section, and add sharpen. Okay, again, go to the effects section, and again, blur section, and add unsharp mask. Set to the opacity 80%. Okay, so add again another rectangle shape. Go to the effects section and click on other section and add copy background. Again, go to the effects section and color and light and add exposure and gamma. Again, go to the effects section and blur section and add box blur. Go to the opacity and visibility and click on subtract. Add another rectangle layer. Click on white color. and go to the contrast and click on overlay duplicate the layer and go to the effects section and others then add copy background and go to the contrast and click on soft light and again add rectangle layer and go to the effects section and then other section and add copy background again go to the effects section and color and light and add gradient overlay Click on Multiplay, again go to the Effects section, and Color and Light, add Add Exposure and Gamma. Again go to the Effects section, and Color and Light, and add Brightness and Contrast. Set to the opacity 65%. Okay, so add again another rectangle shape. And go to the effects section and other section. And add copy background. Again, go to the effects section. And color and light. And add hot color.
Again, go to the effects section in color and light and add saturation and vibrance. Go to the lighten and click on lighten. Set to the opacity 35 or else 37, according to your need. Add rectangle shape. Go to the effect section, then other section and add copy background. Again, go to the effect section and other section and add channel remap. Duplicate the layer. Go to the effect section. Go to the effect section and color and light and add saturation and vibrance. Again, add rectangle shape. Duplicate the layer. Go to effect section and color and light and add threshold. Again, go to the effect section and distortion and warp and add stretch segment. Again, go to the effect section, put in mask section, and add wipe effect. Again, go to the effect section and blur section. Add Gaussian blur. And click on screen. Set to the opacity 85%. Click on wipe and change the angle of wipe effect. And your color correction is ready. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them in the comments below. So before you go, if you want red glow in your text, then click on left side. And if you want learn badass transition, then click on right side. So this was Xenox signing off. See you guys in the next one till end. Peace.